hey everybody i'm back um in this video i wanted to um briefly go over um what the bible is talking about when it talks about unclean beast now let me say from the beginning here this um subject um will not affect you from going to hell uh, or um, not making it into heaven um, this is a choice um, that you have but God is revealing um, these animals and it's for the health of your body um, so if you want to have a healthy body uh, where you're not afflicted with illness and disease um, I suggest you follow these steps um, I do um, <clears throat> now, when I was younger, um, we, um, I, you know, I didn't know this, even though I read the Bible, whatever, I, I didn't understand as a child, but, um, when I became an adult, maybe when I was around 19 or 20 years old, um, I realized, you know, we weren't supposed to eat certain things, um, and I stopped eating those, you know, things. And I also stopped um, with some other things I'm going to share with you um, that I still practice to this day. So, um, where we're going to go is Leviticus. <clears throat> it's going to be Leviticus chapter 11. And as you can see, the subtitle with this, um, it says, Clean and Unclean Animals. So this whole chapter is going over that. That's why I said I'm not going to go into all, you know, animals and stuff. I'm just going to go with the basics um, of us, um, especially here in America, and how we eat and everything. So um, once again, like I said, I read from the um, King James Version. Um, and then also... We're going to touch on a little bit. I also use um, my commentary that I use here. Um, it breaks down everything. That's why it's so thick here in the Bible. <clears throat> but even uh, <laughs> with the commentary, I'm not going to read everything. It's like two, three pages uh, just for um, this area or several pages. Um, so I'm not going to read all of that um, in this video. Um, you need to do your own research, um, if you want to know, you know, all the details and everything. So, um, so chapter 11, I'm going to just start at verse one and just, um, read through and, and maybe skip over some. Um, and the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron saying unto them, speak unto the children of Israel saying, these are the beasts. <clears throat> which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven-footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Neither the less, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And so I'm going to skip down to verse number seven, um, because this is an animal that um, is very common here in America. <clears throat> um, and it says, And the swine, though the divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud he is unclean to you um and reading on down um i'm gonna go to verse nine they shall ye eat of all that are in the waters whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins 
and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination to you. And there is that word again, abomination. Um, go and listen to my other videos that I talk about abomination. But this is a different abomination because he says abomination against you. It's not abomination against God where it's going to send you to hell. It's against you as, as in your body, your health. Um, an abomination is something that is wicked, vile, disgusting. Um, so those are all the things that it is to you if you, you know, take in these unclean animals. And this to break it down. <clears throat> um, um, so unclean animals that we eat from the sea a lot here in America is, um, that don't have fins and scale is like um, shellfish, any type of shellfish, shrimp, scallops, um, lobster, um, crabs, uh, clams, anything that, that doesn't have fins and scales is a considered unclean. So like fish and stuff that you can eat like salmon, um, tuna, tilapia, um, flounder, um, I'm just trying to think of, cause those are the main things that I eat, um, as far as fish, um, bottom feeders, what we consider, um, bottom feeders sometimes they're considered unclean cause they're eating the waste of the other creatures in the ocean. So you wouldn't even want to eat that. Uh, that's kind of like catfish. Um, when I was uh, young, whatever, my parents have a lake behind their house, so we would go fishing all the time. And um, most of the fish, um, I guess all of the fish, I don't know, those are the fish that we caught all the time were catfish. So we would eat a lot of catfish. And so I am guilty of it. You know, my family's guilty of it. Uh, I didn't know at the time, but I do not touch um, catfish anymore. And also another thing that I used to eat all the time that I love. <laughs> and then we would go straight from church, you know, <laughs> to go eat at, um, it was a restaurant because I'm from North Carolina originally um, called Mayflower. And I just love fish and I would love me getting me some, um, popcorn shrimp. And we would go there just about every Sunday after church. And I would get me the big old plate of popcorn shrimp to eat. So that was my favorite, <clears throat> but I stopped, like I said, when I was around 19 or 20 years old, I stopped. Um, and then on down, it does talk about um, uh, the birds or fowls of the air. Let me see. Mm. Um, so down towards verse 13, it says, And these are they which ye have in, in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination, the eagle and osfrog and the osprey um, and the vulture. And it just starts listing a different birds um, and stuff. So this is where I go to because <clears throat> some of this, um, it describes the characteristics of the animals and insects and stuff like that. Because there's so many um, animals and creatures out here that you, you know, can just eat and stuff. So, over here, my commentary. Let me see. So, it's basically saying birds um, that prey on other creatures. Meaning that they eat, um, they eat their own or eat... Um, similar ones on their own and also the carcass of animals and so those are like eagles hawks vultures um bats and stuff like that um 
also on in the Bible, it does talk about um, insects and that of flying insects, only those that have jointed legs above their feet were considered clean. So things like locusts, um, crickets, and grasshoppers, um, you're able to eat. <clears throat> um, and then it goes on to talk about, you know, how you're not supposed to touch carcass um, and everything. But it, it goes over a whole lot. Um, I'm trying to... It just um, is so many things, you know, so I encourage you to get in here. These are things, you know, that I don't even consider eating. <laughs> even when I, you know, going out the country and stuff, I just uh, kind of stick to, you know, the foods that I know that I can eat and stuff. Mainly, I love fish. Um, that's my thing. And then, of course, you know, fruits and vegetables. Um, it reminds me right now, I got some watermelon. I love watermelon. But um, those are things you can eat. Um, also, I highly um, recommend, you know, I drink water 99% of the time. And the other 1%, I'll, uh, you know, if it's a special occasion or whatever, I'll have like a, a smoothie um, and I try to get like a hundred percent, you know, natural ingredients or, a a shake or whatever like that, or a fruit smoothie. Um, but I highly recommend, you know, just drinking water cause so many things these days, especially sodas. I stopped drinking sodas when I was 19. And the reason I did was that I noticed that I was becoming addicted to it and I hate being addicted to anything. And so I just completely stopped. I've never had a soda since then and won't, won't ever go back. Um, those things are just full of um, sugar and even, you know, other drinks and stuff. I always look at the ingredients, um, but this is all about the health of your body. You know, it's even, um, I can't remember if I did say swine, but swine is pork, as I hope I, everybody knows. And it's definitely not, you know, good for your body. And even research shows that, you know, it increased your chance for high blood pressure and diabetes and stuff. <laughs> Recently, I was just talking to um, one of my cousins and she she was talking about her husband where, you know, he'll you know, wake up and he will, you know, cook like fried foods and pork and all this stuff. <laughs> and uh, she said she always tries to cook because she always try to grill stuff and have vegetables and, you know, like, you know, good food, you know, not, um, not unhealthy foods and stuff. And I was like, you need to tell him that, you know, don't he want to have a, you know, qu good quality of life, um, when he gets older and stuff, cause right now, you know, when you're young, younger and younger, I'll say probably anything below 60. And even though disease and illness, um, starts, you know, kind of in the forties and fifties. And now things are even getting worse where I see even 30 year olds, um, starting to have, you know, issues and already be on high blood pressure and diabetes and stuff. It's just getting worse and worse. And um, I was like, you need to let him know. And she was like, I have. And I was like, he going to end up with high blood pressure and diabetes. <laughs> and she said, he's already pre-diabetic. And I'm like, man, and y'all just right at um 40. I don't know if he's like 39 or right at 40 and stuff. But, you know, he's like, oh, I don't care. You know, you'll take care of me and stuff. It's not about somebody else always going to take care of you, but it's the condition you're going to be in. Um, I don't know how many, at, you know, with my background being in nursing, um, it just caused a person to be miserable. Um, they're unhappy because they're always having to come in for some type of issue because of the condition of their body. And they are, they do not have a good quality of life. 
um, they just end up being miserable. And those are the things people don't realize when you get older, if you live, you know, even to get, you know, to that age, um, you, you're going to suffer repercussions. You will. And that goes with, um, this includes, you know, people that drink alcohol, um, on a regular basis. Um, I don't drink alcohol, but I mean, you know, it's okay. It's that it's not a sin and it's not something that, um, you don't have, you know, you, uh, that is going to be negative, but you take everything, um, you don't overdo it. You know, that's something that you can have once in a while and God doesn't want you to get drunk and, um, and gluttony of, you know, being an alcoholic and stuff, but, you know, alcohol ruins your liver. We have people that, you know, they was alcoholics and stuff like that when they were younger and now their liver is shot. They have a lot of liver issues. Um, I don't know if you've seen like people with these big bellies. Um, it's called ascites <clears throat> when um, they have issues with their liver and stuff like that. And, you know, that we they have to come in um, to get it drained and stuff. But it's a constant issue and stuff like that. Um, and then that includes smoking. Now, um, I don't smoke. I don't encourage anybody to smoke. Um, but that's something that causes issues to your body as well and um i currently in my um, business that i have you know um, one particular client that i have he used to smoke you know years ago he's in his 70s and he smoked for years and years and years and now he has to wear oxygen you know he's got copd which is a chronic obstruction pul pulmonary disease and it's no reversing that. Once you have damaged your lungs, they're damaged. They may not affect you at that time when you're younger, but when you get older, you're not going to be able to breathe and you're going to need some oxygen and your body can't take in an appropriate amount of oxygen that it needs on a regular basis like you naturally would. Um, so he ends up having, in addition, other issues because of that because it's a trickle down effect when you have one issue with an organ in your body um then it starts to affect other organs in your body because they can't get the appropriate nutrients that they need so this is about if you want to have a quality life um start taking care of yourself and being aware of the things that you're putting in your body and in the bible it's blatant here and some people want to argue about this is uh, I you know I'm not here to argue with people it is your choice some people you know think oh that's in the old testament uh in the new testament we don't have to go by that <laughs> so in that case well why do we even have the old testament in here this means that um the ten commandments are no longer good we can go out here and do what we want and stuff like that it, um it makes no sense at all um people want to blot out um things or whatever based on what their desire of their flesh wants to do but if you want to eat pork and shellfish and you know be happy go lucky that's on you <laughs> that's on you but i plan to keep my body healthy um and in a state where when I get older, um, that I can be in good health. So I hope, um, I hope this was helpful, um, in your journey. And, um, like I said, this is not, um, a sin that's going to send you to hell. Hell, um, it's just about the health of your body. So have a wonderful day and be blessed.